What's good? What's good, YouTube? American Rx at it again. What's good, people? Uh, a lot of interesting things took place today, huh? As you could see, um, the illusion is crumbling, you know what I'm saying? Um, civil war, you know what I'm saying? Whether uh, it's staged or not, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. But uh, it was very interesting uh, to see what's going on at the so-called, um, uh, if you call it the, uh, the, 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 the so-called capital, all right? So, yeah, so, uh, nothing is sort of surprising no more. And I'm saying that's that's what we've been telling you guys for a long for the longest time. To be yourself, be ready, be self-governing. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody has to put the potential to govern themselves or their, their family. They all need to become tribal again. You know what I'm saying? Learn the principles of government within your own clan, your own society and govern yourself. You know what I'm saying? Govern your family, you know, choose, choose, uh, elect a chief or, you know, somebody who's going to be responsible enough to, uh, take care of the affairs of the family. Okay. Uh, but anyway, and I'm going to, to, um, he's, um, talking about that for uh, too long. I'm just going to get to the chase and uh, get to the point. So today, this evening, I'm going to be um, presenting this predictive programming. So a lot of times when you see these movies, these media uh, broad broadcasting uh, communication uh, companies uh, publishing these, a lot of what's going on, pretty much a lot a lot of a lot of a lot of it has to do with um predictive programming right so let's get to it predictive programming right and by the way this is from um uh, this is state the, the ohio state university website so shout out um uh, by da daria beaver right predictive programming theory predictive predictive program programming is theory that the government or other higher ups are using fictional movies or books as a mass mind control tool to make the population more accepting and future events. This was first described and proposed by a researcher, Alan Watt, who defines predictive programming as predictive prog programming is a subtle form of psychological conditioning provided by the media to acquaint the public with planned societal changes be implemented by our leaders well i don't have a leader i'll lead myself if and when these changes are put through the public will already be familiarized with them and will accept them as natural progressions thus lessening possible public resistance and commotion would then it was popularized by alex jones and david ike the most notable cases of predictive programming are examples found in Simpsons, The Dark Knight Rises, The Hunger Games, and the oldest being, being from Utility. Right, so go ahead and check out those movies, alright? And you will get an idea of what, what predictive programming is about, right? Information can be found on blog posts and many conspiracy theorists have either made videos on it <clears throat> or have spoken on the subject. That's a new term they're using though, conspiracy theorists. Whenever you speak your mind, whenever you speak the right trust things, they label you as a conspiracy theorist. Okay? That's a new term that they made up again. People who believe in this theory are mostly conspiracy theorists who think there will be a totalitarian government takeover which it which it already is i'm saying who have eyes let them see you know what i'm saying 
and are on the more mild side theorists who believe tragic events are an inside job are completely fake. David I proposed that the Sandy Hook shooting was predicted in The Dark Knight Rises because Sandy Hook is shown on the map in one of the scenes. Right? So pretty much what it is, it's um it's a it's a it's a subconscious um type of thing, right? Where they use images or uh, symbols, you know what I'm saying, to implant in your subconscious, right? And then you're, because you are a being, you are, you are, you are a creative being, or you, you are a being that is um, unlimited. When these images are implanted in your subconscious, um, as the collective of people, right? It, 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 it will likely to manifest um, over time. Right, because they play on your imagination, right? All right, so where was I? So I was right here. Okay. While I was looking for more information on the motives behind the government participating in predictive programming, I found that most most commonly people believe the government creates a problem so the population we we'll look to the government for a solution. However, because government planned for the crisis, government will offer a solution that has been planned long before the crisis ever happened. Alan Watt, along with many others, believe, believe a desired outcome is created through the power of suggestion in media. This theory is still very popular today because any huge event can be seemingly traced back to a to cartoon or movie that was fortunate enough to predict it. Predictive programming, predictive programming at its core is a tactic to reduce resistance by introducing concepts that seem far-fetched. Now, who remember the Terminator movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Y'all remember that movie from in the 90s or the early or the late 80s? Okay. That's, that's one example, right? Yeah. Predictive programming at its core tactic is a at its core is a tactic to reduce resistance by introducing concepts that seem far fetched and continuously reintroduce them to make these concepts appear more likely or at the very least acceptable. As always, there is a reason why movies and television are used as the common vessel. When watching something, a person typically perceives it as entertainment, right? But it it's usually a public service announcement, okay? And all these movies are public service announcement. You were told, you were warned, okay? And their theoretical guard will be lowered, and the subliminal messages will be directly will be directly go to the subconscious. It also used as a sort of it 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 also is used as a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy because once an expectation is created then when these events start to happen the population may seem more likely to accept the fate there is also a control of imagination because the most commonly used tool in predictive programming is science fiction by creating these stories the author and create boundaries of imagination and slowly show what may happen. Coincidence theorist, as mentioned before, one example of this is utility. This is a book from 1898 that shared the story of a fictional ship named Titan that was deemed unsinkable and ended up crashing into the ice into an iceberg with a similar description of and fate. This novel is seen as outlining the fate of the Titanic to create an acceptance among people for when the Titanic truly sank. Predictive programming is not a seamless theory because there are several contradictions when considering the possibility of subliminal messaging. Firstly, there is a conflict with the social learning theory. In the most popular experiment showing the social learning theory, children either hit or, or ignored a clown doll depending what behavior they saw being exhibited 
by an, by an adult. In predictive programming, it is said that by portraying a message, a reaction is assured regardless of the context. But in the experiment, the children didn't have a reaction to the doll other than one exhibited by the adult. Secondly, there are a few perp purposes for predictive programming and not all of them have to deal with tyranny. Some are meant to lessen the blow of an event like 9-11 or as mentioned previously, the Sandy Hook shootings. The contradiction raises when thinking about why the government would want to warn us or prepare us for Sandy Cook. The whole point of Sandy Cook Sandy Hook conspiracy is to doubt the event even happened so the government could create a conversation with gun, of gun control. This would defeat the purpose of staging it if the government was trying to ensure a small or inexistent response. Lastly, Alan Watts is very success, successful in explaining how an, an, how an, how an event was predicted by looking back at what was in movies or cartoons before the event before the event but predictive programming is not actually successful in predicting what may happen in the future based on current media for example the simpsons are credited with predicting 9-11 ebola virus trump's presidency and many others in a particular episode lisa is seen holding a magazine that advertises $9 bus fares in New York City. The price is placed by a sh silhouette, sh sh silhouette of the Twin Towers. Therefore, the cover is depicting 9-11 and is involved in predictive programming. These instances of, predict of prediction from The Simpsons has only surfaced along with the theory, but there is no new prediction being reported from the simpsons with, um, with with a majority being from the 1990s or early 2000 showing that the accuracy of predicting the future is still 50 50 and left to chance now whoever write this they are very clever okay they're trying to downplay the fact that they use these methods of manipulating your thought process so you could in, so you could manifest your own hell on earth right because the mind is a terrible thing to waste if you don't use your mind it will be used for you okay so whoever writes this they are biased um towards the uh the, the, the topic of predictive programming right they're trying to um doctor it up to let it, let it seem as if whoever um you know speak or or introduce this topic seem um like they're not very accurate and i could tell you that that's absolutely not true right there are several cognitive contributions that can be attributed to predictive pro to predictive programming a lot of evidence presented to by theorists are highly likely to be co coincidence so nothing by the way nothing is coincidence people all right coincidences some are eerie and seem to be a sure thing but they could be resulting from hurry pareidolia pareidolia is seeing patterns in random stimuli and as theorists are looking through evidence for their belief they may begin to use a confirmation bias and see a pattern a pattern that doesn't that does not actually exist interestingly enough pseudo science may play a role in the appeal of this theory a lot of the basis of predictive programming can be attributed to the idea of neuro linguistic programming but after em empirical empirical testing there's no evidence that neuro linguistic programming even works More importantly, there's no link between the two. As mentioned before, predictive programming, prog programming is meant to soften the blow of a traumatic event and create less of a reaction and a tendency to accept. 
Alright, so this is what makes you docile, right? However, there are studies that show how 